Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Air power is crucial to any nation when it comes to waging war. Without it, you have lost a great part of your initiative. Aircraft like the A-10 Thunderbolt II are air power personified with all its attack options. Its main gun, aptly named the Avenger, is its most impressive part. And you may not fully comprehend the size of this cannon until you have seen it being installed in the A-10. During the Cold War, the Allies had a problem. It was decided that a new air weapon was needed to stop Soviet tanks rolling into Western Europe. The Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt II was born to address exactly this problem. The solution that the A-10 presented was simple but ingenious. Attach the heaviest possible gun to an aircraft. The GAU-8 Avenger 30mm Gatling gun was chosen, and all that was left to do was to design the aircraft. Why is the Avenger so impressive? It's the size of a Volkswagen and can fire 3,900 rounds every minute. As if the massive Avenger gun was not dangerous enough, the A-10 is also able to carry various rockets, bombs, and missiles. When it comes to attaching bombs to the Thunderbolt II, the aircraft armament system technicians step into the fray. These highly trained technicians attach and arm all armaments to the A-10 and do scheduled and unscheduled weapons maintenance. Under the aircraft are positions called hardpoints, to which ordnance is attached. The A-10, also called the Warthog, has 11 hardpoints, which can carry 7,260 kilograms of external weapon stores, or fuel tanks. Missiles can include the AGM-65 Maverick, one of the most common precision-guided missiles in NATO. Other external stores can include decoy, infrared or chafe pods, and various types of additional avionics and targeting systems. Not only is the Warthog a lethal attacking aircraft, but it was also built to survive strong ground fire and even missile hits and keep flying. The pilot is safeguarded by a titanium tub, nicknamed the titanium bathtub. This armored structure protects them from any incoming fire from below. Warthogs are built to withstand punishing ground fire. That's because they fly subsonic and low to deliver bursts of fire from their Avenger cannons onto targets, which makes them easier to hit. The 
hydraulically driven Avenger cannon can deliver a high rate of fire. This is because its seven barrels rotate and keep any of them from overheating. Ammunition utilized by the Avenger includes armor-piercing incendiary rounds, or a mix of the two. The A-10 can engage targets at ranges of just over 1,200 meters. When they are not actively engaged in combat, Pilots are given an abundance of opportunities to engage in realistic training. This ensures that they remain at the top of their game. The ideal catalyzer is provided by training ranges like the Sailor Creek Training Range, which is located close to the Mountain Home Air Force Base. The targets, which are frequently repurposed pieces of military equipment like tanks or armored vehicles, are fitted with a remote control system that simulates operational movement so that the shooters can practice their aim more effectively. The so-called robotic targets are programmed to move along a predetermined path or under direct real-time control so that they can simulate the enemy's movement patterns. These training sessions are designed to help pilots improve their ability to recognize, track, and engage mobile enemy targets in an environment that is both controlled and realistic. The rounds fired from an A-10 can destroy everything, including armor, in their path. A-10s are used in close air support, or CAS role, by the United States Air Force. That means a warthog on patrol may be called to assist U.S. ground forces in a difficult combat situation. Coordinated radio communication between the A-10 and ground commander ensures that the pilot knows where the enemy is and where the friendly forces are. Often, smoke grenades are used to indicate Mark. enemy positions, and their forces may have infrared strobe lights that the pilot can see. Strafing is a capability of most fighters. In the U.S. Air Force arsenal, the F-15 Sea Eagle is meant to destroy aircraft, but is completely capable of strafing targets on the ground if the situation requires it. Usually not armed with rockets, bombs, or air-to-surface missiles, the F-15C does have an M61A1 Vulcan 20mm rotary cannon. Through his heads-up display, the pilot sees the calculations made by his fire control computer and knows exactly how to pitch his aircraft and pull the trigger to hit the target. F-15E Strike Eagles are upgraded from F-15Cs and have the same gun to perform strafing runs. They are dedicated attack aircraft 
armed with precision munitions as well. F-15E Strike Eagle's M61 Vulcan rotary cannon has a magazine of 500 rounds. Switch it arms. The M61 Vulcan is a six-barreled, air-cooled, electrically fired Gatling-style rotary cannon, which can fire 20 by 102 millimeter rounds at a high rate, typically 6,000 rounds per minute. It's one of the world's most powerful and fastest firing aircraft cannons. The M61A1 Vulcan is a highly adaptable cannon capable of a wide range of missions, such as air-to-air -air combat, close air support, and anti-aircraft fire. It's also used on other aircraft, such as the F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-A-18 Super Hornet. The U.S. Navy incorporates this into the Phalanx system, commonly referred to as the CIWS on board ships, to protect their ships from missiles and low-flying aircraft. With this weapon, every fighter aircraft can destroy most ground targets if required. Just as with any other rapid firing weapon, the Vulcan requires regular maintenance and cleaning. Armament system specialists are responsible for maintaining and keeping these weapons operational. Not only does regular maintenance keep the weapon firing, but it protects the aircraft against damage caused by a malfunctioning cannon. The M61A1 Vulcan requires expert knowledge, technical skills, and precision to maintain. The task eventually falls to the Air Force's weapon specialists who are meticulously trained in maintaining, testing, and repairing a wide range of armament systems and munitions. The maintenance process is frequently initiated with a general functional inspection and operational test, followed by the separation of major assemblies for a more thorough examination. The removal of the barrels from the gun rotor is followed by a careful inspection for wear, tear, and potential defects. Excessive wear, cracking, deformities, or other damage that could impair weapon performance or safety is looked for by specialists. We've clearly come a long way since the days of single barrel armaments. The robust Gatling-style Avenger on the A-10 and formidable Vulcans on most other U.S. airframes aptly demonstrate war technology's cutting-edge capabilities. The Avenger and its relative, the Vulcan, are specialized to decimate tanks and are constantly perfected through routine strafing run training by skilled pilots. Not to mention the skilled team of armament specialists who work tirelessly to keep these high-speed weapon systems ready for duty. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.